Let's talk about using the new editor, Haken editor, that comes with the Osmos 2.0.15 release. With this new Osmos firmware, you will only use this new editor that comes with the Osmos release. You no longer go to Haken Audio to get an editor. Sometime down the road when there is a new integrated editor, you might do that, but that all has to be decided on. So I can go in, find a directory that I load where the editor.maxpat is for the Osmos 2.0.15 release, and I'll bring that up. I can click on it, and that will bring up Max and load the editor. You'll see some screens come up. It'll take a while. And this is an editor that is based on the 10.09 firmware. So you will not use an editor from Hawken Audio. You can also, if you want, perhaps you have a Continuum or a Continuum Mini and an Osmos. In that case, you'll have multiple editor files now on your computer. What I like to do there is manually go in and do an open. That way I know that I'm opening the right file for the right instrument. You can click on the MaxPad too. If you're having issues, Go in and manually load your file. So I brought up the editor. Just like using the previous editor, you'll connect your Osmos to your computer with the USB cable. Then on the Osmos, you'll set your USB Hawken mode to 2-3 note and matrix in the MIDI I.O. panel. You'll set Hawken local control on, just like before. Then, when the editor comes up, you'll go into MIDI and Global Settings and make sure that your input is set to MIDI in Osmos on PC, or it will say Osmos Port 2 on the Mac, and the output is set to MIDI Out to Osmos on PC, or Osmos Port 2 on Mac, and that should be all you need to do to have the editor come up. So, I have brought up the editor. A few things to note. This editor is built on the 10.09 firmware, so you'll see that displayed in the top right. You'll see my Osmos device. So if you have an 8x continuum and you're using a later version of the editor, just make sure you do not load any presets created with an editor after 10.09 on the Osmos. The Osmos right now is only going to except external presets you load that are based on 10.09. Now the editor syncs with the Osmos, so if I change a preset on the Osmos, it will change in the editor and then I can edit it, or I can go to Preset Initialize, and that will basically bring up an empty preset which is now labeled Init in the editor. Or I can go in and import a preset, but I have to make sure, again, I'm not importing something that I created with a later editor. Let me go to the Continuum firmware, and let's see, I'll find the Continuum preset. Here, Bacteria.mid, and I'll load that. So Bacteria is loaded up, but notice on the Osmos, the Osmos only knows about the last preset loaded on the Osmos. So if I load in the editor an init preset or load some other preset and edit it, I can no longer save that in the editor. In fact, you'll notice the editor no longer has options to view or select presets. This is because the Osmos now uses its own new internal preset storage mechanism using its own internal processor, not the DSP processor that was used before this. So the editor really now is only intended to bring in presets, edit them, and then store them back on the Osmos. You can initialize a preset, you can import a preset from your disk, load a preset basically, you can export a preset to your disk, save a preset, but when you want to save it back to the Osmos, you have to go to the Osmos. So let's say the Osmos thinks it's Arial's, but it's really loaded this bacteria preset as its current preset. So to save this, to a new preset on the Osmos, I can do a couple things. I can go from the navigation to save, then I can either save or duplicate. 
Now, if I save, I'm going to save to the current preset on the Osmos. You probably don't want to do that. You want to save your new preset to a new name on the Osmos. To do that, you'll duplicate. So duplicate preset, but it thinks it wants to duplicate aerials. If you want, you can press yes, but this is going to create a name aerials 2 which is not at all what you want here. We want to save this to a name bacteria or maybe some other name. So I do not want to press save or duplicate yet. I want to go in on the name function, which it thinks is Arial's right now, and change that. Now here I can change a name, a type, a character, sensitivity, but what I want to do is press the name function. Once I press that, I can use the knob here to change the name B A C etc well I won't go through the whole process but you can change the whole name like that and then when you're done you can confirm so I've actually changed the name here it says Basiels but whatever name you create there now I can duplicate that and it duplicates it to my new name I'll say yes and that'll save it to a user preset so now when I go back and go to the user category you can see my new preset is there that's how you have to save right now presets from the editor to the osmos again we can select something else on the osmos and that will be loaded into the editor the only thing to make sure of is that you do not try and load a preset created with a later editor release. Here, I'll show you what happens if we do that. Let's import a preset that I know I created with something later. Now, if you're just an Osmos user, you won't have a, a later release, so you don't have to worry. But if you have a continuum, let's say you have an 8x continuum, you're running a 10.35 or later release there. If you create a preset on that and you also have an Osmos and you, by mistake, try and load your preset you created for your continuum on your Osmos, you can see it's not going to know what to do here. It thinks it's a specialty preset. So just be aware, continuum owners that are running later, Hawken Editor Release, keep it separate. Don't try and load presets you create with that on your Osmos. And that's about it in terms of using the editor. This is a 10.09 editor. We'll load back up a Osmos preset. This is the 10.9 editor. It has all the functions of the old 10.9 editor. You edit presets the same way. You have all the capabilities of all the sound generation possibilities of 10.09. The only issue, of course, is that when you want to save your preset now, you have to do it on the Osmos. So with those few bits of information, you should be good to go with the new editor.